zombie hunters and welcome to another zombie hunt. Well today we've got something a little bit special for you. We're going to show you how to make some nasty little bleeders. Nasty little bleeders? Yes, nasty little bleeders. Basically we're going to show you how to make some bleeding reactive targets. Some little bleeders, namely these little fellas. So what's involved? Well, first off, in order for things to bleed, we need access to blood, okay? Now, we're not using the real stuff here. Now, you can, of course, buy blood, fake blood, that is, from places like Amazon and that, but it can be quite pricey. So we're gonna show you a cost-effective way to make bucket loads. So, what's the secret ingredient? Well, it's dead simple. First off, the main ingredient some kind of sugar syrup yeah corn syrup or we've actually kind of got here some uh, uh, vanilla coffee syrup any old syrup will do as i say it doesn't really matter as long as it's clear sugar based syrup you can even make your own okay but uh, rather than faff around with that just buy some pre-mixed syrup and then the other two magic ingredients are some red food coloring and a little bit of blue Yep, and that's the one that really trips people up, okay? So let's just make some fake blood now. We'll screw the top off our syrup and get rid of that cover. Get some uh, red food coloring. A few drops like so. Give it a little bit of shake. See, and straight away you can start to see the desired effect, yeah? Now, those observant ones of you will say, well hang on a minute, that doesn't look that bloody. I can see it just looks like very red, almost raspberry flavoured syrup, okay? So this is where the little magic touch comes in, with a bit of blue. Okay, so be careful not to add as much blue as you did the red. Just a few drops of blue, not much at all, makes all the difference. Let's just see how that works. There you go, look, already, you see the difference? Look at that, what a difference a bit of blue makes. You can dilute that down even further by adding a little bit of uh, water. Depends what consistency you like your blood whether you like it a bit gloopy or very runny. For now, we'll just go with that, yeah? So that's our blood pretty much made. It's as easy as it is. A lot cheaper than buying the pre-mixed fake blood that you get off Amazon. We've added a little bit of water and here's our blood. So how do we make our targets? Well, quite simply, we're gonna get stick any old stick from your garden or anywhere a bit of masking tape okay a red marker and some zombie finger puppets okay now you can get these little zombie finger puppets again from amazon or ebay um for under three quid, you can get a pack of six, yeah? So roughly kind of 50p a puppet. So it's a bargain when you look at the fun factor in a minute in terms of what we're gonna do. So a little finger puppet, one stick, some masking tape, a little red marker for some effect. Oh, and a bit of hot glue as well to seal it. That's basically what you need, okay? So let's get going. How long does it take to make a nasty little bleeder? Well, let's see. So, start with, get our stick, get our masking tape, wrap it around the stick, like so. And you've got to try and gauge this. Because basically you want it the same thickness as a finger. I think that might be it. Roughly, roughly, 
we'll uh, put a little bit along the top, like so. This just stops the blood draining into the stick, okay? So that's basically our stick. Let's just test that our zombie fits on it and it does quite nicely, okay? There you go. It's a nasty little zombie. Now we need to turn it into a, a nasty little bleeder. So in order to do that, we essentially just need to fill him with blood. So, get our fake blood that we mixed. Fill the little fella to the top as much as we can. There you go. It's quite nice. Put our little stick in. You'll see some residue, a little bit of overflow. Don't worry about that. Okay, look at this, making a right mess. Hence, having a little bit of paper, right? Okay, so that's him stuck on there. The next little thing is you're gonna seal him up. You don't have to kind of do these. They, they kind of hold quite tight, but I just prefer just to seal him up like so. go okay and then a last little touch it's just to quickly add some aesthetics really it's just to color that masking tape in like so so there you go one nasty little bleeder so we'll take him out to the range with a few more of his mates and make him bleed. So there you can see our nasty little bleeders. Now we like to leave them hanging in the range, but you can use those stakes to stake them into the ground, in your backyard, whatever suits. Right, that's enough at looking at them. Now I reckon it's time to shoot them out. see our fake blood has done its job definitely looks realistic an absolute bloody mess okay so another cool thing about these is that they're not one hit wonders so you can get this little fella here and we can give him a little wipe look at that shot there right in the middle of his head cracking shot anyway we can give him a, a little wipe like so and we can plug him up with a glue gun so if you just give him a little little patch doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy like that just make sure he hasn't got an exit wound He's looking good.
So there you go, all patched up, recycled, ready for a, another shoot. Well, there you have it, nasty little bleeders, well dead and well bled. And as you can see, they're not much bigger than the pellet itself. Well, before we go, this nasty little bleeder here wants to remind us of something. The three rows at the end. Stay safe, shoot safe, and be safe.